What is going on guys and welcome to today's video. And this has been requested a lot by the young studs out there. So ladies, unless you're into men's fashion, this may not be the video for you. I do believe that if you look good, you feel good and who doesn't like to feel good, right? So I do take a lot of pride in uh, what I wear and how I present myself in everyday life. Without further delay, we're gonna talk about casual dress up clothes or business casual as they like to call it. Now we're gonna say formal wear like suits and casual wear like t-shirts and um, gym wear like douchey stringers for, <laughs> for other videos. When I step out in this boy, the bras go crazy. Yeah, every boy I step in the gym up and down. So this one is just gonna be like casual dress up clothes. But I'm gonna to touch on seven areas of the wardrobe in this video. I'm gonna talk about shirts, gonna talk about pants, gonna talk about shoes, gonna talk about belts, socks, and watches, that's six, and underwear, just unless you want me to. We're not gonna talk about underwear. And guys, one small caveat before we start this video, you guys may get the thought, why does this guy spend a disgusting amount of money on clothes? So right now, we gonna go count a million dollars in cash. For the people that's watching on YouTube, I'm sure you put this on YouTube tonight. And let me tell you that everything that I try on and is in this video, I have gathered over about eight years since I was a freshman in college. And uh, everything I wear, I pretty much get on sale. All of my button ups are $30, $40, rarely go over that. And uh, just keep that in mind. And guys, before we start, I'll briefly touch on how you organize your clothes. Now, I just moved into a new apartment, so my wardrobe is kind of still in shambles in a way, but I did spend some time steaming and hanging up my button-ups in somewhat of a color-coordinated fashion. And by the way, guys, a non-wrinkly shirt is a happy shirt. I personally don't like ironing my shirts, so I steam them. It's super quick and easy. Basically, all you do is hang the shirt on a steamer, and hang it on the hanger and then just run over it and you have a nice non-wrinkly shirt. So guys, first order of business is shirts or button-ups. I love wearing button-ups and maybe it's the fact that I was in business school or was in a fraternity, but there's something about a button-up, it's versatile, you can wear it with shorts, you can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with chinos. I think I think that's what they call them, chinos. So they call them nowadays, but either way, uh, I love wearing button-ups and uh, I know Amanda compliments me on them when I wear them, so I'm not gonna be changing that. <laughs> now guys, rules of thumb with button-ups. This is a huge one, huge, huge, huge. Make sure it fits well. Make sure it's a shirt, if you're gonna be wearing untucked, that is not meant to be tucked in because it may be too long. Big thing I focus on, guys, is the button in the middle. If it looks like it's pulling and it's about to combust when you're just standing, chances are it's too small. And if it's too loose, Chances are the shirt is a little bit too big. Big thing too, guys, make sure the sleeves are not too long. I like rolling my sleeves up because much casual, but um, if you like having the sleeves longer, a little more like formal look, I guess, uh, make sure they're not like hanging over your hand. You may be wondering, guys, how do you know the shirt fits well? Or how do I get a shirt that fits well? Try it on, go to the store. Guys, I get shirts from many different stores and they all fit a bit differently. So the only way we can really tell is, uh, is by trying them on. Stores I personally like to buy button-ups from, shirts is Polo, Ralph Lauren, I like Banana Republic, I like J. Crew. I like Gap, I like Express, to name a few, and others. I like any shirts like TJ Maxx, Ross, um, discount stores like that as well. And guys, when it comes to the style of the fit, I usually opt for a slim fit shirt. It is slimmer down the torso. I have a bigger upper body and not as thick down here, so a lot of times if I get a shirt that fits my upper body, the down here, even this shirt's this way because this is a casual fit shirt, but it's baggy. I opt for slim fit shirts and usually a large these days is fitting me perfectly. For reference, this morning I was 198 pounds and I'm 5'9 and a half. If I'm gonna wear a casual fit shirt, so there's slim fit and then there's casual fit. Casual is a bit looser. Uh, I can sometimes swing wearing a medium. Next order of business, guys. I'm not gonna talk about jeans, not gonna talk about shorts. I'm just gonna talk about pants or chinos. I have all of my pants from Banana Republic. They have a slim fit style called Aiden. Aiden Chino. I will link it in the description. I'll show them on the screen. They fit me very well. I've got some meaty thighs, but they still are slim enough that it's not super baggy at the bottom. Not a lot of extra room in the calf area. It's great. I think Banana Republic has a less tight fit or a looser fit, and they also have a fit that is even tighter than Aiden, I'm pretty sure. But you can go to their website and check it out. Next thing on deck, guys, is shoes. Shoes, shoes, shoes. I like wearing brown shoes mostly. I like lighter brown shoes. I have Colhan shoes, and I have a couple pairs of Johnson Murphy shoes. 
I really like the look of Allen Edmond shoes. You guys, if you have the budget, check out Allen Edmond shoes. They're, they're pricey though, but, uh, but those are great looking shoes. So yeah, I like wearing Cole Haan's and Johnson Murphy's. Good quality, not too expensive if you get them from the right place. Next thing guys is watches. Watches, watches, watches. Uh, I used to be like borderline obsessed with watches, always looking at them online. That was like back in college and by you guys looking at this watch collection, you might be like, oh my God, he spent so much money on watches. But each of these watches is around a hundred bucks, again, accumulated over like an eight year period. One of the watches is a Burberry watch that was a gift to myself that I bought for graduating college. So that was a bit more expensive, but all of these watches aren't, uh, aren't very pricey. And guys, watches are a staple in an outfit. If you're, if you're dressing up in any way, throw a watch on. Throw a watch on, please. Gotta wear a watch. Next, next order of business is socks. Now guys, socks, my sock game is bad now. I need to step up my sock game. Loud socks are in, like super loud colors, patterns, all this stuff. Oh, booty, you're cold. Take my socks. I don't have any, so I don't have any for reference, but I think I have a Superman pair. So bright color socks, especially if you have just like a white shirt with like blue pants like I'm wearing right now or something more just like neutral colors, having that pop, having that color that comes out with the socks is key. Colorful socks. Last order. Why do I snap? I always snap like that and some people find it condescending. So <laughs> guys, just know me snapping is just like, it's not me like trying to send like bad vibes your way. Today what I wanted to do is uh, showcase some of my finger snapping abilities. It's just like something that I do, okay. Last order of business is belts. Now belts are very important. Do not be wearing pants with a shirt without a belt, especially if the shirt is tucked in. Belt does not have to match the shoes in terms of color. Like don't wear obviously a black belt with brown shoes. Don't wear black shoes with a brown belt, but you can wear, for example, a lighter belt with a darker pair of shoes as long as they're brown. Match the browns with the browns and blacks with the blacks, but the browns don't have to be the exact same brown. Will you please stop talking? If you catch my drift, you know what I'm saying. Like I said, guys, this video was much requested. A lot of people were commenting, have been commenting in my comment section for like three, four, five months saying, do like fashion, like try on or whatever. And I have never really, really felt super comfortable doing it for some reason or just like never got around to doing it. So here it is. Let me know if you have any questions on anything. Heck, snap me or IG, snap me photos of yourself and be like, does this look good? And I'll give you my honest opinion because I do like fashion, I do, uh, I like, do like dressing well, and we put a lot of time in the gym to look good, six pack, all this stuff, but 99% of the time when we're walking around, we're not naked, right? We don't have our shirts off, so we might as well look good, you know what I mean? So, that was just like a realization I had as I'm talking right now. I'm all over the place right now. So either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a like. It's not quite done. We are going to San Diego now to hang out with Ricky and uh, I'll see you in the next clip. What is going on? The douchebaggery is done. We're over that. We're in traffic, about to hit a green light. But this is the second part of the video, guys. We are going to San Diego right now to hit a workout with Ricky Lane. You guys have met Ricky before. He was in the bodybuilding.com spokesmodel search, doing a shoot with him and also hitting a workout. Guys, I'm kind of in a dilemma with my videos. I want them to be more guided and be more intentional because traditionally since I've started my channel, it's always kind of just been vlog based and most of my videos have had a workout in them. And I want to keep that feel to them, like keep them vloggy, keep uh, the, the, the workouts in the video, but at the same time, uh, like today, we did uh, trying on casual dress wear. The other day we did uh, books, the day, a day before that we did a grocery haul. I like them being a little more intentional and on a topic, if that makes sense. If you like that, let me know in the comment section, give me recommendations of stuff specifically you would like me to cover. 
And uh, whether it's fitness related, training related, whether it's personal life related, anything. Uh, so there's that. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that again. And uh, just a little insight into what I like to wear, my rules for myself when it comes to fashion. And uh, yeah, let's get this going, guys. Excited to work out with Ricky and the rest of his crew in San Diego. Snap, snap. Oh, I am here in San Diego. Uh, he goes to a lot of cool gyms down here, so it's gonna be cool to like get to know the area a little bit. And uh, San Diego really is right next door to LA, as I'm learning. So, um, just vlogging, man. Uh, so, it's nice to uh, get down to the area and uh, hang out with some familiar faces a bit. So, it's kind of the reason behind being here. Socks and flip flops? Oh! Did we just do it right now? What's <laughs> <laughs> up, dude? Let's go. Oh, It's not Virginia. I'll tell you that much. That is. This is not this Virginia. Is not Virginia. <laughs> My word. <laughs> Beach ball. Ooh. Look at like... that video skill. <laughs> about to get this workout started, guys. Uh, Ricky rented out studio gym. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. All right, guys. So I'm kind of just going through a random workout. So I'm going to show you one set of pretty much everything I do. I'm just going all over the place. So I will list it on the screen right here. And uh, yeah, screenshot that, now let's get into it. Guys, it's only taken, I think, about three weeks being on the West Coast, and I'm going to this place right here. In and out, I've, I've seen it hyped up a lot, and uh, never been here, but I've been like super low calorie today, and that's not even intentional. But um, I am excited to try this. This will be good. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. All right, guys, fries, animal style. Animal style is some special sauce I have, apparently. Maybe people from California, you can fill me in. <laughs> and then this is a double-double, also animal style. And then this is a chocolate shake. I went, I went in. <laughs> it was like Trader Wow. Wow. It's so good. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
I need to do some cardio.